What's going on, you guys? Welcome to my War in the West first impressions. Gary Grigsby's War in the West. So, this game was 70% off. Uh, oh, I got it. Shut up, DC. Otherwise, you're not going to hear me. Okay. So yeah, this game was 70% off. It's normally $80. It was $24.99. It's a crazy deal for a game this big. <laughs> so everything looks good. Fog of War. Uh, yeah, I want Fog of War. That's gonna be an AI, yeah. Everything looks good. Why are they okay? That looks good. Big scenario. All right, I want to start with the earliest additional HQs. Okay. Hundred and nine turns, wow. Hundred and nine sixty-two. So we're definitely gonna start in forty-three. So that's the campaign I think I want. Because I don't want forty-five. Oh, there's a forty-five campaign. When does it start? December. Okay. I was hoping for something around like, I don't know. When does bulge begins in forty-four? Oh, okay, so I see where they're where it's starting. Days before the Battle of the Bulge. All right, let's do that. Yes, sir. All right, Automatic Air Directive creation. Oh, cool. All right. Uh, I don't know what. Oh, set to medium. Hi. I love that the developer did this, so I don't have to go looking in the manual. I can say, or what is NL? And so that's what that means. Okay, cool. All right, ground attacks, air superiority. I want. Oh, this is cool. You can set this. Oh, I don't have to deal with the Air Force. Okay. Definitely go after the airfields. Uh, rail yard, interdict, no, no, railway, okay, I like it, I like it a lot, so that's tactical, this will be tactical media for the med, Unit, low priority, port, ferry. Oh, let's leave it there. Okay, this is cool. And then strategic air. So where do I want to bomb? U-boat factories, heavy industry. I definitely want that bombed. Oil, fuel. Yes, yes. So that's a medium or low armament. What's V weapon? Okay, and then knight, they're gonna hit manpower. Okay, awesome. This is this is <laughs> this is awesome. I don't have to manage the uh, air force, so I could just manage focus on the uh, good parts, which is moving my divisions into place. Does the WASD keys work? No, but the up and down arrow keys work. 
and how's the zoom work zoom in oh beautiful that looks very nice and you can hit the edges of the map and i'll move around oh so good so good oh baby this is what i wanted nice okay Eighty second airborne, hundred first. No, this is the British airborne units. Wow. Okay. And who's this? Moroccan. Thirtieth Corps. Every time I I, I say thirtieth Corps, I think of that guy in. Um, remember the. Uh, Battle of how is that um, a bridge too far? Remember that British guy that goes up on stage <laughs> and thirtieth call will rise. <laughs> that that is like stuck in my head. So I think we're beginning the invasion of Sicily, right? But the only thing is, uh, I need more than you know. And the only reason I got some time to actually do this is because the wife decided to uh, take the kids to, I think, Walmart. And I was like, ooh, this might be a good time for me to jump on. She's like, you want to come? I was like, no. <laughs> I got some War in the West to deal with. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is awesome. Oh. Excellentu. Excellentu. Wow, look at this. Look at all this. Oh. This is unbelievable. So, this is all in production. A pool of 1,190 tanks. <laughs> oh man so oh wow oh yeah and they got the images too Second Armored, Seventh U.S. Army. Okay. Can I actually order them all to move to a certain? No. So there are units here. There's a rail line and there's a crap ton of troops. First British Infantry Division. I forgot how to move troops uh, in War in the West. Or do I have to do the uh, air directives first? Yeah, I think you have to do the air first. Shoot, man. 86 losses. Wow. Shoot, 
400 planes? Are you freaking kidding me? There's no way I lost 400 planes. What's yellow? Shit. This is scaring me. Look at this. 600 planes. Where are we at now? Oh gosh, how bad. 16 planes. 8. 62 planes bombing. Shit. How many... How many planes? Loss were 62, damage were 91. How many planes altogether? Oh, wow. Yeah, it's really the strategic. Yeah, we can't take those losses. You're out of your freaking mind. Yeah, we, we have to be careful next time. That That's too much. That's too many troops lost. I mean, planes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you do have to do that first. Okay. Nice. All right. So let's see if I can move a whole core or army, like... You have the 7th U.S. Army. Let me see if I could select them. And maybe right-click? No. Refit on, refit off. Nah, it's just going to move the HQ. Okay, I could do rail mode. Oh, wow. Men disabled 50,000. Men disabled. Oh, that's bad. This is bad. This is bad, bad, bad. Are you telling me this is all I have? No, can't be. Where are the B-17s at? Ah, oh, 156. So we took heavy losses. Like, the Air Force really just got crippled. So I gotta be on uh, careful about that next time I play. So everybody's in North Africa. I have to get into position for an invasion of Sicily. Where are the ports? Tunis is a big port. There's a one troop transport, one cargo ship there. Oh, daggone windows. I hate.
There's no port there though. Now this is 43, right? Yeah. So all of Nice, okay. So I can move everybody just like that. I don't have to move one guy at a time. Alright, who do we want to move? We got what core is this? Provisional US core. We'll do a rail, rail, rail. Uh oh. Come on. There we go. Alright, so I can move those guys. Let's move them. I don't know. Here. Come on, Donnie. There we go. Let's move you guys right here. <laughs> Rail load MP seventy five. Let's see if that goes down. All right, get off the boat and then get off the thing. Oh, they actually have to be at a train station to stop, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, and then... Exfil, exfil, exfil. Chugga, 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 chugga. I'm going to move the fur of uh, this unit first. You're moving, right? Man, if we didn't have the rail, imagine these units had to move one by one. It'd be nuts. I wish you can click on another unit and move this while these guys are doing it. I wish I wish they patched it and set something like that up. Can I get off the train here? Hundred strategic MPs are required. the train oh crap okay so this is gonna take a while because I just moved two divisions and I think I used up all my MP points just moving the third infantry division and the first so it's gonna take a while interesting so looking at the textured map here, I'm going to compare it to uh, War in the East 2. And I don't know if it's fair or not. This game came out in 2013, but 
I do like the textures in War in the East 2 better. Um, I do feel like they were a l they were more detailed in War in the East 2. Because, like, this I'm assuming represents trees, but in War in the East 2, you could definitely, like, easily identify that it's trees. Oh, boy. Eleven British. Here's some American units. Ninth Air Force. Eighth Air Force. Okay, so there's 990 vehicles in this unit. I need a thousand. Okay. I got some British Airborne here. 29th Infantry. Wow. Guys, this this game, man, this is epic. What is this? What does this mean? Are these the airfields? Oh crap, these are all airfields. Wow, that's a lot of airfields. 43 here, 16 there, 22 there. Wow, dude, they jam packed. <laughs> they all jam packed. 111 with a second RAF tactical. Wow, man, this, I don't, so this game is basically the most grognard, the most detailed, the most ultimate uh, level that you can get for a war in the West type situation. Like, there is no game that has greater capacity than this. So move in two divisions, the 9th Infantry and the 2nd USHQ. That's as far as you guys get to go, right? Oh, there's another one. Oh crap, that's the fastest he got? Oh yay yay. That's a little craptastic. Yeah, a lot of rail points. I mean, they can move on their own power, but... Actually, it's not so bad. They could move on their own power. It's not that horrific. Let's just check everything there, what happens. So 96, 136, and 97. What is this again? What do these three represent? I'm assuming supply and then fuel and then ammo. Yeah, so that's what those represent. Supply, fuel, and ammo. Use a lot of fuel to get there. This is a port, right? 
Yeah. So I'll keep you guys there. I'm assuming we have to keep some of these ports just so I doubt the AI will, you know, go on the offensive. They won't the AI won't do what I do, which is um be cunning. <laughs> these are all what HQs? Yeah. A lot of HQs, a lot of HQs. But I really wish like I can click and then move on to the next unit while that goes. One oh six, let's see how far that goes down. That's not too bad. start everybody moving in the right direction. Oh, first armored is here. I mean, I think... I think with these units, I think I have enough troops to uh, to move on Italy, I think. Should be enough. I got a, a, tons of troops here. Second British Special Services Brigade. And is there a port here? This is a port, I think. This is Light Woods, Port 2, yeah. And then I'm assuming this is gonna be like Port 3, Port 6, yeah. I know Tunis is a really major port. Um, Let's actually save our Airborne. And these are all American Airborne. This is a full division in three pieces. So I'm assuming second, third brigades. Wow. Now, how the Americans Airborne use this? Well, actually. Shouldn't I actually have them? Yeah, I should actually have them over here. They're gonna fly in. Who is this? 506 US Parachute Battalion. You guys gonna go up there. I love being able to like move all these individual divisions and like 
you know, like this is like you guys are gonna go there, right? They're assigned to that. Second armored. Yeah, I can't move. Let's stand by. I'm gonna try to move everybody by uh, train. But yeah, I mean, I love that you can move every individual division. I like that's really awesome. And then I have this to deal with. Some air bases up here. Ooh! Got some tanks. 268 tanks in this. Ah, there we go. Look at all this. Some Cromwell. Shermans. 22 ready. That's a crap ton. Wow. Now the only thing that I'm kind of curious about is, you see how like, you can't go beyond this map right here, right? Like, it's cut off here. I'm kind of curious, like how would I, if I wanted to, move some of these guys from there to here, you know, to like support the attack. Is it like, I'm assuming this hex right here, shipping to UK? I wonder. So you just have to probably put it in a special hex. Uh, I don't know where the shipping to med right there. Okay, so that's how it works. I figured that that's what they did. Oh, cool. Check this out. They have like a map key here. It's like something you see in a board game. Wow. All right, let's see how much time there we got. I got 30, uh, they're probably be back in like 20 or 30 minutes. Ah. And then who are you? All right. Oh, airborne planning screen. That's cool. That's gonna be expensive. So two million five hundred eighty-five thousand. But the axis have three million fifty-two thousand. Wow. So we still don't have enough men. Wow. Oh, it's Eastern Front. Oh, East Front. Where's West Front? Do I have to do the Eastern Front? No, right? No, I don't. Yeah, there's no units on this side. So it's just the West. I know in certain, I think, scenarios you can do the Eastern Front. But that's more of like war in the East 2 kind of situation. All right, I'm going to... What is this? Set soft factor. I have no idea what that does. Oh, reinforcement schedule. So, this is July 3rd. July 17th, I'm getting a auto weapons battalion. Okay. And then in September, I'm going to get a crap ton of field artillery. Just a lot. Light anti-aircraft. Uh, third U.S. Armored is going to come into being. 101st is going to come into being. And it's just going to get more and more crowded. <laughs> oh, it's a French... That's what the blue is. 
Interesting. Oh, wow, it has reinforcements all the way to, what, 45? Wow, that's, that's good. Clear, okay, climate zones. Here's the order of battle. So Germans have 2.5 million troops, 35,000 guns, 1,900 tanks, and 3,400 planes. Italy, another million with another thousand tanks. With US, oh my gosh, I'm only bringing 687,000 men. That's it. It's not. I'm not even at a million. The British have 1.7 million. With 3,000 tanks, oh. So we have more tanks than they do. Guns, I mean, we... Dude, we can't even... Our artillery pieces can't even measure. Wow, that's not good. It's not good at all. Oh, cool. See them where those okay. All that's you, uh, Axis. That's a lot. <laughs> I gotta figure out what this means. I'm assuming red I can't drop, here I can't drop, this is bad. Show battle sites. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So I can actually look at like what happened, where my planes were, and all that stuff. So attacker, I had seventy-two planes. They had two anti-aircraft. Does it show my losses? Oh yeah, jeez. You know, I, I know this is a Gary Grigsby game, but I, I still get overwhelmed, not overwhelmed, I still get like, wow, like, out of all the stuff that you could, like, wow, you know, like, it's crazy sometimes. Oh, crap. So I lost two, they lost a hundred men, four. Alright, that's not bad. Eight planes, what do they lose? Target was observed. I'm gonna check this part out here, because I know I bombed Germany. Yeah, you see? Hamburg. Air combat city was bombed. I lost four planes. Jeez. I don't see anything on this side here. Oh crap, there's more data here. Jeez. Ground losses. Ground combat. Air losses. Air combat. Wow. 
Did I bomb Berlin? No, I didn't go that far. Is this what? Air combat. So this all shows air combat with these icons here. Jeez, 43 bombers. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we're not doing that again. No, no, no. 31 bombers. I am not. I am not. I don't care. It's not worth it. That's way too many bombers. And I know during the war that's like... That's what happened, but no, 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 no. I am not going to have plane after plane after plane shot out of the sky like that. It's not happening. Either they go in escorted or none, none at all. Freaking crazy. I mean, maybe night attack missions. I don't know. I, I just... I don't want to take those kind of losses. That's nuts. Absolutely not. And then there's more fighting here. Air combat, air combat, air combat. Oof. Dude, these bombers didn't even get to the coast. And they really lost seven. They have BF 109Gs. Hmm. Wow. All right. So I think where's the intern? Intern. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. How do I deselect this? There we go. Okay. So I moved all the units, so let's just click enter and see what happens. This is the German side now. So many flies, man. I'm telling you. I have my I'm in my office right now, and I have like. Oh shit. I don't know how they get the, these freaking uh, things get into my freaking office. We had a we have a pool outside for my uh, for my son, and then my my wife was telling me there's like 30 or 40 flies by the pool. I'm like, why the freak are there these amount of flies? Somebody told my wife that. Um, that this is normal, like for this region of Virginia. It's bloody crazy. I mean, in Brooklyn, we didn't have this many flies. I think the uh, Windows UI is blocking some things here. Wish I could move this around. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, guys, we are not. Uh, let's do strategic night. Let's hit heavy industry and fuel. You guys need to rest. Chill, axe. All right, continue this. I need air superiority. That's number one. Focus on that. Contra on the airfield, ports, interdiction. You don't have to do that right now. Units, don't worry about that right now. Hit railways, rail yard. Okay, I like this better. 
Okay, let's let's do it. Sixty seven planes, damn it. It's a lot less than the six hundred, right? Shit, I should stop the night attacks too. We're at nearly three hundred. It's all over Germany. Here it's not so bad. But then once you get into Germany. That's not bad. Losses are still 39, 48. Yeah, yeah, this is where it's jumping. Yeah, 388. It's jumping for the night bombings. <sighs> Shit. RAF command lost 86 damaged damn it also that's enemy lost we lost jeez 57 to their 8 guys come on 151 planes this night bombing thing is not working out well I mean, it's a little bit more affordable. They lost 68 and 51 were damaged. So that's a little bit more acceptable. And then here's the tactical things that I was doing. Um, I lost 29. Again, that's not bad. We can make that up production-wise in the US, what, in a day? Two, yeah, this is not bad. Like, these are acceptable. But the strategic part with the Air 8th, 2nd, and the RAF Bomber Command, man, they're taking heavy losses. Heavy losses. 151, dude. 151. Unbelievable. Lost 254 aircraft. <sighs> Crap, that's a lot. Yeah, we need to do some more recon. I know they have a lot more than this. I wonder if I can cut them off from hopping over. Oh, that's a mountain, uh, volcano. Look at that. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna leave it off here, guys, because we're at where are we? We're at 48 minutes. Um, I just wanted to get a taste of this game because this is definitely something. It's gonna take me a while to actually. Um, There we go, nice. Uh, it's gonna take me a while to um, to actually uh, play through. It's not like a one, two, three, you know, like Warplan Pacific, I'm playing that right now. And I don't know how many videos I'm in. Each video is about an hour. I think I'm at like 10, 11. So that's like 11, 12 hours straight. This game is gonna go into the triple or quadruple digits. So this game is not to be taken lightly. You're going to be moving individual divisions and sometimes brigades in those divisions. But I want this because Oh crap. Screw that up. Damn it, I screwed that up. Uh, but yeah, I won this game because this is the ultimate Grognard experience. So like, if I, well, my first vacation from 
I mean, I'm not planning my vacation. I just started a new new job um, pretty recently. And, um, and uh, so obviously I'm not going to... Although the guy that came in with me, he... Uh, he took a vacation already. I was like, where is he? Uh, this is like the fourth week and he's not here. And I looked at his schedule, it says vake. And I'm like, vacation already? Jeez, man. I mean, I don't plan on a vacation with, at least in the first six months of a new job, you know, to just like let him know like, hey, I'm not here just to, you know. And this company I'm working for is, is great. Um, they treat the employees like amazing, so. I want to make sure that I don't like, you know, I, I, I show my appreciation. So, um, but yeah, once I take my one week or two week vacation, I kid you not, I'm going to like sit down and do one of those gaming sessions I used to do when, before I had kids and, uh, you know, and responsibility, which is like nonstop gaming from like morning into like midnight. That's what I'm gonna do. Order pizza, have pizza next to me. But yeah, this is this is definitely something that would take a long time to play. Um, but let me tell you something, for $24, this is an incredible deal. So definitely saving this for my vacation. But I actually might play it every so often. Uh, probably not going to do videos on him because, you know, I don't know unless you guys want to see him. But I'll probably do like an hour here, hour there. But for to do videos, like to do an entire series from beginning to end, it would take hundreds of videos we're talking. So, you know, I try to keep it within... Uh, my former co-host uh, is uh, doing War in the Pacific kind of thing, and I think he's at like, I don't know, 100, 200 videos, and he's not even like halfway through his uh, War in the Pacific. Uh, but that's why I love this game, man. Um, this is the ultimate experience, you know, so, ow, and they ship an editor, that's awesome. So technically, you can actually make a scenario for 41 or even 39. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, and honestly, I would recommend you guys get this. You know, if if you if you know that you're gonna have a vacation in the future where you're gonna have a lot of time on your hands, do it, man, do it, because I remember those gaming sessions where I, I put in like sun up to sun down. It was like. It was great. Like, and then when I was at work, I was thinking in my head, I'm like, right, I'll move this division there, I'll move this core over there, I'll bomb there. Like, it gets you thinking in and out of work, and I really love that, you know. So, yeah, I really love that. Anyway, guys, uh, catch you in the next one. See you.